quite satisfied by this. <laughs> I've never noticed before, but... So we're going to see game one on Battlefield. Those players do not need hand warmers. Will Fairlines be able to take a set out of Cal? Did Fairlines actually already beat Cal in a set? That's a very good question. I don't remember it happening, but... Was, was Cal here Saturday? He was, but I don't know who sent him to losers or eliminated him. I don't think he went to, like, losers finals or grand finals. I think he's taken games, but I'm not sure if he's taken sets before. But... He's still okay. able to take down Cal. Like, he has it in him. It just, just needs to make it happen. Yeah. On Fly's Killer with the knowledge, actually, Fairlines was the one sending Cal in losers today. So he's taking sets off of Cal. I wasn't aware of that fact. I didn't look to the bracket. Uh, um. I didn't pay much attention to the bracket yeah. either. So Fairlines is playing out of his mind for, uh, for a couple weeks now. Well, a lot of top players seem to have uh, Cal's number quite, uh, recently. Of course, Fairlines is, uh, he's always playing quite patiently. Sometimes what costs him is that he, he sometimes overextends his combos and gets hit by something that he shouldn't have, have been hit by. <coughs> that costs him, to oh, that the spike, but just doesn't get the right hitbox. Now both players are at really high percent, that's a max rage Ryu. Ferenc is going to have to take the stock off very soon because... Oh, and the, four, the, the up smash. As I said, Fairlines had to take the stock off very As soon. can you shall receive. Yeah. I'm actually, uh, I've actually had a very positive record today uh, of uh, Commentator's Blessing versus Commentator's Curse. So, <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised. Usually it's the other way around, but this time... Fairlines just going to town on Cal already... More than 70%. This is huge for Fairlines. Just making all the right reads. Just keep hitting Cal all over and over again. Now he almost lapped him in percent. This is looking very grim for Cal. We're not used to seeing Cal throttle that much. On the up air, that wow. will be two stuck on Cal. Fairlines is playing out of his mind. Yes. Playing out of his mind, game one goes to Fairlines. And Gouming, a very interesting in that match. Uh, he's gonna face the winner of that game. And we have, of course, beside us, Strumbert waiting for the winner of the losers finals with this Captain Falcon. This guy just wins everything all the time. With but Mario, to be fair, he did have previous experience with Captain Falcon, even in Smash 4. Like, yeah, I know. To be I fair, know, but right. this guy did it with Doctor Mario. He did it with Captain Falcon. He did it with Mario. He did it with Mars. Like the first time I played against Trumbert, it was like the second or third weekly. I was playing Ike, and he was playing Falcon. I think he two stuck me twice in about. Give or take a minute. So, of course, the counter pick, uh, usually Cal uh, counter picks Lilat, but I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out for him. Especially against the Fairline that's playing so well right now. So it's basically even at this point, but oh! I'm not nice. sure you can, that's gonna take the first stock. It's 11! Lights turned off. Nobody's there to turn them back on. It's Trumbert with the clutch, clutch light turn on. The other side of the room, no less. A very good read by Strumbert. Now Cal with the lead, only 19% on the, uh, now 30, now 42, now 44, and keeps on counting.
Caroline's desperately trying to end Ryu's stock. Is Cal gonna two stock him back? It seems to be looking towards that, especially uh, Ashoryuken is gonna end the stock, of course. Fairline's desperately looking for anything. The up air, this, oh, very good DI. This is not gonna take Ryu's stock just yet. Went for the up smash, doesn't quite connect. Very good shield. It's gonna take a back air and up tilt into Ashoryuken, and it's gonna be over. Of course, Sheik has been at kill percent for quite a while now. On the Tatsuyaki Sepukyaku. Tatsumaki, sorry. Tatsumaki Senpuyaku. I don't even know if that was the input. He just tried to get back on stage, and Fairlines yeah. was clipped by the uh, by the hitbox. That's unfortunate, but nonetheless, two stock back by Cal. Tatsumaki Sepukyaku. <laughs> We're gonna go to FD, I believe. As I said. Of course. In typical Fairlane's fashion, we're now going to fight on final destination. But either way, Cal won on his favorite counter pick. And if Fairlines wins on this one, we're gonna have to see a different stage. Mm -hmm. This is tense. Mm -hmm. No more Lala, no more final destination. I can smell the Smashville coming though. Cal is one of the rare people who actually counter picks Lala because uh, because of the low ceiling, because he plays Ryu and Bayonetta, so it's a very good stage for both characters. So. I do enjoy uh, Lilat as well. It's a fantastic stage for Donkey Kong. Yeah, those platforms for Donkey Kong are just marvelous. Now, uh, Cal in a slight deficit in percentage, and nothing he cannot overcome, but he's gonna play very solidly to uh, actually win over Fairlines on that stage. Everybody seems to struggle against Fairlines on Final Destination. Or if you want to put it the other way around, Fairlines is very, very good on Final Destination. Oh, this is dangerous, a lot of percent. If you get stuck in those tilts, you might just end up dying, losing your stock very early. Oh, and the wow. Shoryuken coming through! First stock, as I was saying, goes to Cal. Once again, a commentator's blessing by myself. I don't know why it surprises me every time that Cal pulls up a Shoryuken like that. And now we have a reset situation. Very good bouncing fish to clip the, the Tatsumaki by uh, by Cal. So this is very evenly matched. Those two players are so good. Oh, the downer goes unpunished, uh, weirdly. Beautiful string. Both players just, every single time they get an opening, they just get the maximum amount of, amount of hits they can. I, 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 this, this is top level play right now. This is very good, uh, very good Smash 4. This is Dragon Ball quality of just exchanging blows and the... Four throw to Bouncing Fish. Somehow he is able to connect that, even to that, uh, that high of a percent. Uh -oh. oh, the focus attack! Oh, he! Oh no, it does it in, did the, in the wrong direction. Did he accidentally reverse it, or did yeah. he pivot before? I, I, oh my God, that's so unfortunate. That would, that would have killed. That would have been the end. And the up air coming through. Will that be enough? No, very good DI by Cal. Of course, aware of that of the of that option. Somehow, Cal seems to be shielding every single needle. He does a very good job of just knowing that Fairlines is going to throw him out every single time he has a chance. Oh, and the shore you can. This there is going to go. be. This is going to be game three. Going to Cal. Uh, Cal about to just uh, um, send Fairlines home after being sent himself and losers by Fairlines. So we always love to see Cal go far, of course. By the way, I'd like to give a shout out to Venom, who was contacted by Zero today, concerning yeah. uh, the the best of Ryu's. Well, I'm not surprised because Venom, of course, yeah, he's most likely one of the best Ryu's in the world. Uh, no doubt about it. He's shown so much pr so much prowess with, with the character, and alongside Cal, who uh, they're both uh, notable Ryu players on the Smash Wiki. So, shout outs to these guys. Of course, Cal with a little bit of out of region uh, experience. He went Michigan, to, I believe. Yeah, Michigan last summer. 
right before EVO, so uh, did a couple of tournaments back there and uh, down there to our south, cousins from the south, so doing very good, but right now, of course, Fairline's brought it back to Final Destination. I don't think he ever counter picks any other stage, ever. Mm. Unless he wins on the stage, then he cannot counter pick it back, but he never goes to any other stage. And the sure you can, that's gonna uh -huh. take the stock. <laughs> that's enraged Ryu for you. Cal is good. Nice. Oh, damage. That's a lot of damage, a lot of percent. 31% strength. Clash with those, Cal with those punishes every single time. He has an opportunity to get those percent in. Those bread and butter combos from Ryu. The up air just jumps out of it. Or just crosses up the shield, doesn't throw any attack. That's the up air, yeah, that's gonna do. So only 31% on uh, on fair lines. He's still able to come back from this, no doubt about it, but Cal is playing very solidly in his own right. He has the opportunity to end this right now. Cal, I mean. Of course, Firelines with his back against the wall. Oh, but right now, Firelines is the one with the advantage. Rio off stage, but lets him recover kind of for free. Didn't, didn't apply any pressure, but I think he was afraid of, uh, of the punish on Cal's part, though. Both players with very good defensive game. Fishing for grabs right throw. now. Oh, that's gonna be punished, but only with the throw. It could have been punished way harder by Cal. Luckily for Fairlines, he's still alive. Goes for the bouncing fish to get back on stage. Is he gonna go for the edge guard? No, Cal does it. Makes it back on stage before. Forward air not coming through after that throw. This is very tense. No, no player wants to commit to anything because they know that one single error might lead to a kill. Especially, as you can tell, Fairlines is fairly content just camping needles and uh, trying to keep uh, Cal far away because it only takes one up tilt. Well, it's a little bit early in the game, well, relatively early to talk about a timeout because... It doesn't matter for Fairlines. No, no, I know <laughs> it doesn't matter for Fairlines, but two minutes and a half, that's a lot of time to survive against the Ryu. Well, he's going to force the approach regardless, and he's yeah. going to try to uh, fish for a... He could have punished that if he saw it coming, I guess, but... Now he has no to reason whatsoever to dash... Oh. Oh. Just goes for the grab. Went in for the grab. This might be it. Cal went so deep on that one. Oh. Oh, the forward smash. That will be enough. We're going to see a game five. You can that see the relief on Fairline's face right now. That was a very clutch play by Fairline's. Just punishing the... Maybe the... The, the, the weird approach from Cal. He just... You can see Cal is more content with the defensive play style. What's he saying? He wants more chat. Is that enough chat for you? The chat's inactive anyway. So the counter While pick we will looking, be Dreamland. While we weren't looking, uh, there was a, well, a forward tilt chain. That's it. Yeah, it was a forward tilt chain. It was a, basically a, a chic chain. Just fair line things. <laughs> Just chic things, man. <laughs> oh, very Th good that reverse. That was beautiful. 
Fairlines with a slight advantage at percent. A uh, very good counter pick, I think, uh, uh, for Ryu. But Fairline seems to be making the most of it right now. Oh, the four tilt, sending uh, Fairlines off stage. Very good, uh, Fairlines to recover with that four there. Now he gets the grab, sends Ryu off stage. He's gonna fish for a bouncing fish. Ooh, doesn't quite do it. Oh, and the up smash with a slight charge at this. <laughs> it's, quite, it's kind of uncommon to see uh, one of uh, Cal's shurikens backfire like that. Well, sometimes he just covers an approach with the shoryuken, but sometimes he just preemptively sends, uh, preemptively uh, uses the shoryuken and gets uh, gets punished for it a little bit. But that resulted in a, a very early death. Well, now Fairlines with a full stock ahead of Cal. There we well, go. Not anymore, but still a 78% credit. He actually misses the punish on the, the focus attack. Well, that was a very unsafe forward smash. So Fairlines is going to have to find a way to get that stock off as quick as possible. Because as you guys know, Ryu is very dangerous with Rage. Especially on a stage with the low ceiling in a Dreamland. This, can end, this could end very, very badly for Fairlines. She it's just might be at kill percent right now. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, and he misses! Was that good Smash the Eye? I want to believe that was very good Smash the Eye by Fairlines. And there's Strumbert uh, right next to his, right next to us pulling just what's left of his hair. And the thousand back airs coming through. Now Fairlines is gonna have to be more careful, I think. This is very dangerous for Sheik at this percent. Oh and the bouncing Whoa! fish! That was so clutch! Needles to bouncing fish is gonna take game five for Fairlines. Who's gonna face? He double eliminated Cal today. Double eliminated Cal. I was wondering if he actually took sets off of Cal. He took two today, sending himself to the losers finals against Goldmania. Very good needles to bouncing fish. Very good proficiency with Sheik. This guy is amazing with the character.